year two, uh, if any of you have ever started a new job, year two is always amazing because <laughs> it's not year one. Um, but I'm really excited about this team, um, where our program is headed right now. We have eight new uh, members, seven freshmen, um, and one transfer, Avery LaBarbera, who was the Patriot League Player of the Year last year. Um, so very familiar with her, played against her for three years when I was at Boston. Um, would have loved to have coached her and then uh, lo and behold, COVID happened and so I get to. Um, but I think that mix of the newcomers as, uh, well, as well as um, the returners that we have and kind of how we ended the season last year, the upward trajectory, um, I'm really excited about what we're gonna be able to do this coming year. Um, and I think the expectations are high and and I'm, I'm asking my team to lean into that. I want us to really um, desire that. We want people to expect that of Wisconsin women's basketball. We know what we're capable of doing, and we expect to take a, a really big step this year. Thanks, Coach. We got microphones on both sides. Jocko, you want to start us off? Hi, Coach. Hey. How excited are you to have Maddie Wilkie, uh, you know, full strength and ready to go and start her career at Wisconsin? I am ecstatic and, um, you know, obviously, uh, or it might not be obvious, but I had a chance to watch her um, when I was at Connecticut as an assistant just when she was younger. So I was familiar with her game um, to some extent, but obviously anyone coming off of an injury um, like an ACL um, season ending injury, uh, you never know exactly how they're going to return. And Maddie um, has the heart of a champion and um, she has done everything that you could possibly do to put yourself in a position to get back on the court. Um, our medical staff was phenomenal working with her day in and day out last year. And um, I think we're going to see the benefits of all that hard work this year. I mean, the ball leaves her hands very quickly. And every time she shoots it, I think it's going in, just like Coach Gard was just saying. Um, and so to have someone on the court like that, that can spread the floor, but can also make plays for other people, um, really prides herself on defense and loves to defend. Um, I don't know that there's every kid on your team they can say that about. Um, but, you know, one of the things she talks about is just recognizing how quickly the game can be taken away. Um, and I think she's a great testament to making sure that you don't take any day for granted. Abby. Abby. Hey, Coach. Hey. Um, you mentioned that the expectations are higher high this season. I was wondering if you could define those expectations and what does success look like for you guys this season? I think the expectation is to win every single game by 30. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we won eight games last year, so let's, I mean, uh, no, I, um, no, I, I mean, I think for us, it's to make sure that each day we're getting um, a little bit better that, you know, we talk to our kids about trying to be the best version of ourselves every day. And so um, that's how I would define success at the end of the season. If we can look back and say that we collectively and individually are better than where we started, um, we were successful. Wins and losses, I'm not going to, you know, put myself, but that was a good try. Um, no, just kidding. Um, I'm not going to put myself in, or our team in a box, but what I do think is um, the product and uh, the brand of basketball that we'll be playing this year I think will be really exciting. I think fans are going to um, be, really be drawn to it. Um, you know, I've been out there shaking hands and kissing babies and trying to get everybody, anybody who will even talk to me about um, anything um, to, to come and watch our games because I really feel strongly about the product that we're going to put out there, and I believe in, in this group of young women and, and what they're capable of doing. Let's go, Mark, and then back to you, Jacko. Uh, Coach, uh, Sydney's come back to the team this year. Just can you tell us what, what have you seen from her so far and the, maybe the impact of, of having her back with the team? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely proud to have Sid Hilliard back. Um, I think, you know, the impact she has is that she's just been um, a pillar of this program since the first day she walked on campus. And when I got here last year, knew what she was capable of doing. Um, she actually just went had a little bit of a scope on her knee, so she hasn't really been in um, uh, practice um, the last uh, three weeks. But um, she it was a successful procedure. She should be back in time for our first game. So, um, but even just her presence in the gym, whether she's on the court or not, right now um, has just been phenomenal and really excited for her to finish out the senior year strong. Go ahead. Which player are you most excited for this season to see have a bigger jump than they did last year? Ooh, um, I think for Julie, I'm really excited for her um, 
she put in a lot of time and effort in this off season, and she and I developed even a stronger uh, relationship and trust and bond. Um, and so I'm excited to for her to really step into that role of um, a go-to player. I think you know there was moments and flashes she had last year, um, but she's incredibly talented and capable. Um, she's one of our captains, um, and all of she got 17 votes from all of her teammates. So she or 16, um, she probably voted for herself too. Uh, um, but no, she's just, um, you know, she's one of those kids that I, I hope when um, when she walks off the court at the end of this season that she is really proud of all the work that she's put in and that our fans and anybody who's, uh, you know, watching the program can see the fruits of her labor. Zach? You talked about, you know, the jump from year one to year two for you in your opening statement, but I guess what's maybe been the easiest part, you know, now that it is year two for you? Oh, um, I think the easiest part is that uh, they know who I am now. Um, and I feel even more comfortable with um, being who I am. I mean, I don't know if any of you have been around, this is this has been me the whole time, but um, but I think for my players to understand the expectations that I have for them, the way I communicate with them, I'm really direct. Um, it's not just because I'm from the East Coast, um, and that you know I believe in um, what they're capable of doing, and I'm going to put them in positions to be successful. So I think that's probably been the easiest part is transitioning now, and then in addition to that, having a year under your belt, those kids have already been through it. So you already have um, nine kids who understand that. So the new eight, they just can kind of pick up where we left off. And there isn't this, we're teaching everyone, my staff, my managers, practice players, like the the culture piece is, is really built in already. Um, and so we can just continue to kind of hone that, but it's not like we're introducing things all over again. Mark? Um, Coach, I think last year your roster was around 12. Mm -hmm. I think this year you're up to, to, eight, to 17, 18. Uh, I guess I'm wondering, you know, when you were when you had such a small roster last year, if that prevented you from maybe doing some things, implementing some things that maybe you would traditionally like to do, that now that you have a larger roster, you're going to be able to, to you know, try to employ this year. Yeah, absolutely. I think one, um, somebody gently reminded me that I think we had one of the slowest offenses in the country. I was like, okay. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, we didn't have uh, the fastest. We weren't the, you know, the most athletic group, um, but we needed to try to manufacture points last year. I think uh, we want to play a little bit more up-tempo this year, um, but I say that in, um, in a kind of intentional way. We're not just going to run and gun, but um, I want to release the reins a little bit from, um, from you know, as, a, as I continue to mature as a head coach, understanding that um, they're only going to be as good as I believe that they are and so giving them um, that autonomy to do that and um, I also think you know pressing a little bit more will be kind of in our um, you know repertoire that we'll we'll dig into but um, I think when you come out and see we've, we've added length we've added speed we've added um, athleticism like there's it's a it's going to be a different look but the same kind of tenacity the same um, selfless play um, and hard work, that's going to remain no matter who uh, is wearing the Wisconsin jersey for us. Any other questions for Coach Mosley? Mark, you got another one? No, Come on, going. monopolize already. Let's do it. Uh, I, I guess I was also curious. Um, you mentioned uh, your freshman year, a couple of uh, uh, four-star, you know, let's, you know, how the recruiting services are, but uh, yeah. Lily Cron and, and, and Savannah White, you know, two of the more – I guess higher profile kids that are coming in. Just can you give us your your initial thoughts on, you know, what they're what they're, what you're seeing from them and how they might, you know, fit into what you know you do this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously with Lily Cron, I think. Um, before I even got the job, people were, um, you know, would if they had the chance, they would have emailed me and said, you got to keep the best kids in the state um, at home. And I'm like, I'm not even at Wisconsin yet. Um, but no, I, I, um, I'm I, so grateful to have Lily Cron. She was the first kid who committed to us in this class. And for her to be from Prairie du Chien, and um, she's got a huge 
family following. So that's going to be great atmosphere in the Kohl Center. But um, she's a kid who's a lights out shooter, um, very even tempered, um, you know, will continue to grow into her body and be a little bit stronger at the collegiate level. That's something that we've talked to her about, but I think she can make an, an impact on us for sure. And then Savannah White coming from St. Paul, um, you know, she is an incredible athlete, great um, instinctual rebounder, shot blocker, um, can score with her back to the basket and also facing up um, a good passer. So the versatility piece there, we can play her inside, we can play her outside. Um, you know, some of the other freshmen, we talk about scouting services and, you know, rankings um, that you wouldn't see. Uh, Sarah Williams, I think, will be a, a really bright spot for us um, coming out of Brooklyn, New York. And 6'4 um, post player, um, again, just plays with a tenacity and um, an intensity that uh, we haven't had. And uh, Tessa Towers, 6'5 out of Batavia, Illinois. So, um, you know, we have Sanaya Copeland. I mean... That unfortunately, I don't think our press conference is long enough to name all of the freshmen that we have <laughs> coming in, but um, it's exciting to know that we have um, a bunch of kids who can make an impact, but also that our returners are really solid and had a ton of experience last year that adding the two and mixing them in, it's just going to enhance exactly what we want to do. And then I was also um, curious in terms of, obviously this is year, year two for you, but yeah. You know, with so many newcomer coming athletes, it's in some ways it might seem like it's almost you know you're you're one in a way. Because, but I guess I'm wondering. I don't know from in your other spot in your other stops if you've experienced this much of a. I mean, eight bringing in eight new, eight new players is uh, is a lot. Uh, <laughs> by uh, you know in, any standard, I guess I'm wondering. Have you had any experience like like this before in terms of you know just blend you know blending them in while you're trying to get you know your veterans you know building on what they did last year yeah uh no the answer is no I've never had a team this large um but <laughs> why not try it um no but I think that um what we knew we needed was um, an infusion of talent to add to what we already had. Um, and what I feel really confident about is that we have a strong culture and understanding of when you come here and when you're a part of this, uh, you're coming to be a part of something bigger than yourself. So whether we have 10, 12, 18, however many people we have on the roster, you want to be a part of Wisconsin basketball. You're not just about who, what you're getting out of the experience. And so um, the blend is human nature, right? People are going to be jockeying for, for position, but ultimately what we've talked about is the competition that it will drive in, in, in practice is going to make us that much better um, when we go out and um, compete against our, our foes. And so we're excited about that because it has been, if you come by practice, and I invite all of you, you can come anytime, but um, it's been a, an exciting, it's loud. People pop their head in all the time because there's a lot of energy um, and intensity in the gym. And that's what we know that that type of numbers, that's what we get out of that. In addition to having a lot of different weapons that we can employ when we need to. Anything else? That's all for now. Okay. <laughs> I also enjoy long, long walks on the beach and um, jazz. What's your sign? Pisces. Okay, there you go. Anything else for, <laughs> anything else for Coach? <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you so much.